Hi again, Mills families and students. This is Mrs. Johnston. The second video, I'm going to show you how you can access your Wonders curriculum through Schoology. So I'm starting on my single sign-on again. I'm going to click on Schoology. For this, we're going to pretend that Tyler's teacher has given him an assignment on Wonders that he needs to complete. All right. So he might have opened an assignment in his courses and that assignment said, go to Wonders, complete week five, unit, whatever, uh, and it is a grammar activity he needs to do, okay? So to get to Wonders, he can do all of that right here through Schoology. He doesn't have to go back out to his single sign-on. This little button right here with these four boxes is what you'll click on. So click on those four boxes. Now a lot of kids are going to be looking for Wonders here, but it doesn't say Wonders. To get to your Wonders, you have to go to McGraw-Hill. That's the publisher who makes our Wonders textbook. Okay. So click on McGraw-Hill and another little box will pop up. Now for some of you, this box might not pop up right away. If it doesn't, look right here on your um, web browser and you might have a pop-up blocker and usually it'll kind of pop up right here and tell you that you can click on it and say allow. So make sure you allow the pop-ups on this website otherwise this new window won't pop up and you can't get to your Wonders stuff. So now Tyler's ready to go to Wonders. He's just going to click launch and once he launches Wonders it'll open up to the home page of Wonders right here. All right. So for this, he's got this little clipboard looking thing and it's his to-do list and it has a number one. That means that his teacher has given him one thing to do right now in Wonders. Now that number might change. Your teacher might give you two or three different things to do in Wonders. To see them, you'll just click your to-do list and it'll pop up here. And this shows Tyler the current work he needs to do and it's due date, right? And then over here is the actual grammar activity he needs to do. It gives him some reminders about the lesson that your teacher probably taught you before she sent you to this activity. And then over here is the actual grammar activity. So Tyler will click on it, a new window will pop up, and this is where he can start dragging answers in. Okay, And then he can um, click check, and it tells him he's right, and he can go on to next and keep working through his activity. All right. Once he's all done, there'll be a complete page and he can go back to his wonders. He can type a note to his teacher and submit that if he needs to. When he wants to get back to the home page, he's just going to click here on wonders. Okay. You've got some words to know, so a vocabulary section here, a writing piece, some games, and reading. So here your teacher, your teacher might actually um, assign some things for you to read. So when you click on one, it'll pop up in a new screen and you'll have the little passage that your teacher might want you to read for a particular activity, all right? So each time I can go back to the home screen when I'm all done with Wonders and my activities on there, I can just close this small screen and it'll bring me back to Schoology and I can just go back to my courses or my homepage for whatever I need to do next. So hopefully that helps you with accessing Wonders. Remember you get to it with these little four boxes and then McGraw-Hill. Make sure those pop-up blockers are turned off. All right, talk to you soon.